There's a lot of anticipation for the Galaxy S23 FE and there are signs that the device may live up to them. It's already known that the Galaxy S23 FE will feature the Exynos 2200 chipset in several markets, including Europe. It's the same chipset that Samsung used for the Galaxy S22 series and to be honest, the Exynos 2200 didn't do it any favors. However, it appears that the extra year has given Samsung time to make optimizations. Multiple benchmark results of the Exynos 2200-powered Galaxy S23 FE shows that the chipset vastly outperforms the one in the Galaxy S22. How is this possible? The Galaxy S22 was the last series to feature a Samsung Exynos chipset as the company went all Snapdragon for the Galaxy S23 lineup. Many Samsung fans don't remember the Exynos 2200 kindly so it was a bit concerning when it emerged that this chipset would also be used for the Galaxy S23 FE. However, as the folks at Galaxy Club point out, something usual is happening. There are over a dozen benchmark test results that showcase the Exynos 2200 performing better on the Galaxy S23 FE compared to the Galaxy S22 in the same test. To put that into perspective, while the Galaxy S22 achieved single-core scores of between 900 and 1,500 as well as multi-core scores between 3,400 and 3,500 across tests, the Galaxy S23 FE consistently scores above 1,600 points in single-core and 4,100 in multi-core. There's nothing in the data to suggest that Samsung has increased the clock speeds of the Exynos 2200. Both devices had 8GB of RAM and were running Android 13, further limiting the possibility of an unannounced upgrade. So what's causing this performance jump? One can only speculate that it could be a result of better cooling on the Galaxy S23 FE, which allows the chipset to perform at its full potential. Perhaps Samsung has also made some software optimizations to extract more power out of the Exynos 22. This is certainly going to come as welcome news to those who have been looking forward to this device. The Galaxy S23 FE is expected to hit the market in the coming weeks. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.